Speak Marin, a brand that you've probably never heard of, but quality that is just about as high as you can get. The brand was founded by a English watchmaker named Peter Speak Marin, and he worked for many prestigious companies. He went on to making his own brand. I couldn't find a single picture of this watch online. Like there must be less than 10 that exists. I would imagine that all of them are with their original owners because people who find watches like this, they don't sell them. When I went on Corona 24, just to look at what Speak Marin watches are available, only the modern ones are available. None of the original ones from when he was at the company are there. Before we get into this specific watch, I'll tell you that he ran the company for about 16 years and then in 2017 he left the company but the brand is still around today and they're operating without him involved at all and I will say that there was a noticeable decline in the quality of the watches before and after he was present at the company the watches that he made while he was at the company such as this one that I'm holding in my hands were all finished in-house handmade everything to the utmost top quality detail that is possible. All right, so this is his model called the Piccadilly, and it always has these like flared out lugs, this big crown, and then they call this a drum-shaped case. But when we flip it over, we're gonna see this beautiful movement. You really notice how high quality they are when you get really close into the details, and you'll notice that every single little part inside of here has amazing polishing. They call it black polish when you have that super high mirror-like polish on it. How can you tell if it's a watch that was made while he was involved in the company? It comes with paperwork that is hand signed by Peter Speak Marin. On the paperwork we're gonna see his signature which all of the watches from the era of him being there have his signature on the paperwork. I wasn't familiar with this brand until we first got one about eight months ago. When I listed it for sale there was some ultra collector. The same day we listed it was like wow I've been looking for this watch for years and I can't believe you finally have one I'll take it. I was like wow it sold for 15,000 bucks it's just hours minutes seconds in a titanium case. There's collectors out there really looking for this kind of stuff so did I bore you to death or did you enjoy the video? You bored me to death and I'm fucking standing right here. I know. <laughs> I couldn't tell if this was a boring video or not so I don't know. Do you guys like to learn about brands that you're not familiar with with an interesting backstory or should we stick to the stuff that you already know? Comment below.